everyone, welcome to another episode of Gone Rogue, and, and, and I am here today uh, to, uh, to say that I, need, that I need your confirmation or some opinions of yourself whether or not on which gaming console that I should choose, so let me get this straight. Uh, let, let me get this out of the way. I am not a PC gamer, so for all for all the all for all of those PC gamers out there uh, getting bitter right now because I'm not going going to choose PC. PC is a good platform, but I don't have the budget to afford a gaming PC. So with that being said, with that being said. Uh, I need your, uh, for your, for console gamers, I need your opinion on, uh, I need your opinion on whether, whether to choose between two consoles, the Xbox One S or the PlayStation 4. So, uh, the reason I'm not going to get the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro is that it's, one, it's too damn high, and two, I don't have a 4K, 4K monitor at this point. So, and I don't think I, I 4K uh, monitor or 4K TV at this point, and I don't think that I'm going to get one anytime soon. So, the Xbox One S or the PlayStation 4 standard, um, standard edition of both consoles will must do. So, that said, uh, I'm more uh, leaning towards the Xbox One S because of their bundle deal that you can get at the Microsoft Store. So the bundle, the bundle deal that I'm talking about is when you when you go online at Microsoft.com uh, and in the store section, you can get the console and. Uh, one game, one game, one free game that that that, uh, that you can choose from for for uh, three hundred dollars, two ninety nine uh, ninety nine, and uh, I think that's a good deal because uh, because I'm not sure about the PlayStation Four because I I need to do some research on on what they have to offer. So for the Xbox One S. Uh, the bundle deal includes. Uh, I'm or, uh, before moving forward. I'm looking for a one terabyte uh, console. And uh, speaking of one terabyte, uh, the 500 gigabyte uh, for both consoles is a joke, especially for the Xbox One S, where it costs about $270 for a 500 gigabyte console. Where, uh, or where for the Xbox One S one terabyte console costs about thirty dollars more, which is two ninety nine ninety nine, and uh, for thirty dollars, I mean that's not a big difference between the five hundred gigabyte and one uh, terabyte. And um, that said, uh, I'm looking for a one terabyte console and learn leaning towards the Xbox One S because they have a better deal, um, better deal, because uh, you get the console and one free game, hopefully I can get Far Cry 5 if, if that's uh, available in the console deal at the Microsoft Store, uh, or, or under $300, not, in, not including tax. And I'm not sure about the Xbox, I mean not Xbox, not sure about the PlayStation 4 bundle deal. If they do even have a bundle deal, but it's $2.99 for one terabyte for uh, or just the console only, and that's the only I can um, think of right now. I think it's $2.99 for the PlayStation 4 console. Uh, maybe I should have done some re more research, some more research on, uh, on on the prices of the PlayStation 4 consoles. 
that um, the reason why I'm leaning towards leaning towards um, leaning towards the leaning towards the Xbox One S is because I have an Xbox 360 and the original Xbox consoles and Xbox One S or Xbox One consoles is offering the backwards compatibility and I'm sold on that. I, I, I really like uh, backwards com compatibility and I do still have the Xbox original Xbox and the uh, Xbox 360 and I do plan to keep it, not sell it. it if I ever I want to sell those consoles or throw them, throw, uh, give them away, I still have the option to play uh, games, previous games, on Xbox One S. So, that said, I really hate traffic now. I really hate traffic where it gets, gets clogged up and you have nowhere to go. That said, uh, I'm 90% about to pull the trigger, pull the trigger on getting myself an Xbox One S. And uh, you know what that means because the unboxing series of uh, unboxings, unboxing series of uh, on my YouTube channel will see a new light, a new uh, breath of fresh air since I'm going to be doing the Xbox One S, no, no Xbox One S console unboxing and also uh, Xbox One S I mean not Xbox One S Xbox One games uh, Xbox One S game consoles so um, that said uh, that said I really can't think of anything uh, I need to say more but uh, the things that I have in mind planning, planning to play the played on Xbox One S is one, Watch Dogs 2. I, I, uh, I wanted to get Grand Theft Auto 5, but what, what's the point when you have it on the Xbox 360? But I do plan to get on Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox One S console, but that said, with that being said, let me get in through here. Um, that said, uh, the games that I want to play is uh, Agents of Mayhem, um, Saints, Saints Row, it's basically a Saints Row game, uh, Mafia 3, Just Cause 3, any type of Grand Theft Auto clone games, and, and I want to try out Star Wars uh, Battlefront and NBA games, and yeah, so, that about does it. Uh, for this episode, I think that's what I wanted to say. Be sure to comment, comment section below on what console I should get, or give me your opinion on how my mindset is at right now. Uh, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be sure to check out my other YouTube content on this channel. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching Gone Rogue. And I'll be sure. Uh, and I'll be sure to see you on the next video of Gone Road.